My lymphedema started when I was 18 years old. At its heaviest, it got to be 150 pounds. I was bedridden for three and a half years. I would love to walk without the walker. First, baby steps. Baby steps, yeah. Going outside and walking outside. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Nervous, but excited. Okay. <sighs> it's so beautiful outside, always looking out the window. That was my view for about four years almost. After a while, it doesn't seem real anymore. It's almost like watching a TV show. I was bedridden 24 seven, no breaks, no bathroom, no kitchen, no nothing for almost four years of my life. I have lymphedema dystichiasis syndrome of the FOXC2 mutation. It causes me to swell in certain parts of my body, not everywhere, but just certain parts. Uh, the main point where it started swelling was my right leg. Being stuck in bed for so long, day after day, it has its challenges. It can be really hard. It can also be whatever you make it. I had a policy of celebrating every little thing I possibly could. One thing that I learned from my mom, my mind isn't broken. So even when my body was broken, my mind could still be free. I could still learn things. Like I learned how to do the ukulele. I started coloring. I started doing bed yoga because at that time I was using a bedpan and my mom, who was physically handicapped, would have to help me with my bedpan. It was such a struggle for her. I didn't want her to struggle anymore. So I practiced these stretches so that I can get the range of motions to do those things by myself. My mom was one of the most wonderful human beings you could ever encounter. And she was my best friend in the whole world, whether it was over video chat or she was just rubbing my leg up into the wee hours in the morning because I was hurting. She was with me. My situation got life-threatening when my skin started peeling off and I had such a severe bacterial infection. They said if I would have waited any much longer, I would have died. That's a scary thing, almost dying. Um, the surgery was about 12 hours long. It was one of the biggest that the doctor had done at the time. It is a debulking surgery. It's when they take off all the extra tissue and drain the fluid and stuff off the leg. And then they do skin grafts and replace the skin onto the leg. And then the leg won't be able to do much swelling ever again. Unfortunately, a month and eight days after my surgery, I lost my mom. Uh, she, she was my best friend and my caregiver, but most of anything, she was my mom. And that was by far the hardest thing. You cut your... I told you we needed... I told you we needed an extra pair of gloves. We're doing great. Oh, so much work. Almost got it. Almost got it, almost free. The huge mass that was my leg, it took skin from that part of my leg and used it to coat this. Most of the skin graft didn't take. So it's not a pretty girl, but it's mine. And, you know, I didn't have to get my leg cut off or anything like that. Yeah, but like look at how far it's come from where it was before. Yeah, like it's all like this insane. was so bare. This is actually better than what it was, which is crazy yeah. to think about. When they did the surgery, they cut off 120 pounds of leg, including fluid. And I just say that they cut off the skinny girl. Good job. Look at the camera and say, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Don't even think about that. <laughs> 
No. Nope. Oh, oh God, don't do that. <laughs> I wasn't gonna fall. My life since the surgery has been a lot of learning curves. I've had to relearn how to walk. I've had to relearn how to use the toilet. So <laughs> potty training, but it's been exciting. It's been an adventure. Should I dab? I think I should dab. Okay. <laughs> Go. She said, Go, baby. <laughs> what is he doing? He's coming. <laughs> 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 Mila, in here. I work for an ambulance company. We were sent to the hospital to pick up somebody to be transported from the hospital to be transported back home. By the time I had met Carmen the first time, I had not been outside in about a year, uh, except for riding down to the ambulance. Um, Carmen opened the doors to her ambulance truck and just let me feel the sunshine which is something that almost made me cry because I hadn't felt it in about a year. Going outside and walking outside on uneven turf. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Nervous, but excited. I'm willing to embrace it and start having adventures because I've been in the bed for way too long. And just getting out of the bed is the first step. But the fact that you can now stand because you basically, you now have two legs. Sure do. You know, and... Like actual legs. Actual legs. What's up, Mila? Hey, Lee. You ready for the exercises? Yes. So, start off with your count on one, two. two. She has really amazed me about how strong she is inside. No matter how much pain she's in, I have just been so impressed how she can just tough it out. 19. 19. One more, come on. 20. Good job. Woo, give Three. me some. She has lived in a bed for almost four years. She's just learning, just like a little kid starting to walk again or somebody, you know, going outside for the first time. That's, that's what it's going to be to her. It's all new. Oof. Made it. Jasmine, can you wait to get over? I would love to just walk through the grocery store without getting tired or needing the walker. Um, I would like to go on a date, you know, something simple like that. and I have a future with an even bigger purpose. And what you're looking at now is the start of that even bigger purpose. Yes, girl. Oh gosh, I was like, I can't stand it. Woo! Woo, girl! Woo! It just Woo! felt yeah. right. Awesome. Oh my God! Woo! That was my first. First group of long steps without the walker. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you, God. <laughs> so thank you, God. You did it. I love our little family. Come on, I'm right behind you. Yay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>